the weather's getting a little bit weird in New York. Not cold, very much not summer anymore. It's like in this weird, warm, cold limbo thing that's happening. And so I'm wearing a turtleneck and sweatshorts. They're gray. They don't match, but I'm comfortable. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be watching a scary movie, all right? I need to be in the most comfortable state. I got my tea ready. I, I'm so ready for this. Welcome back! What's up guys, it's Ange, and today we're gonna be watching a movie. Oh my god, another scary movie! It's gonna be the final spoopy movie of the month. Halloween is legit this weekend. I'm so excited, low-key, to stop all these scary things because I, I, I'm, my anxiety level has grown this month significantly and I really think it's impacted by the content that I'm consuming. <laughs> But anyways, we are gonna be watching Cabin in the Woods. Not only does this movie have really great reviews, I'm pretty sure Thor is in it, so I'm sold. Like, you put Chris Hemsworth in the movie, like, you don't need to tell me twice. Before we begin, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button if you have- Before we begin, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet- before we begin, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet already so you can stay tuned to all of my content. I post three times a week. Follow me on all my social media, all my handles will be in the description below, and follow me on Twitch. I live stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And this week, on October 30th, I'm going to be hosting a Halloween-themed subathon on my Twitch channel, in which I'm going to be streaming potentially for 24 hours long. I have all these activities planned, and you can have a chance to play games with me on live stream. I also have two costumes picked out and ready to go. It's gonna be so much fun. Let's eat a lot of candy till our stomachs hurt and have a good time together. Alrighty, y'all, let's jump straight into the commentary. I also forgot to mention in my intro that I have never seen this movie before, as you guys probably assumed. This is my first time watching, have not seen this before. I watched the trailer years ago, like before this movie even came out in theaters. I don't even remember what it's about other than people going to a cabin in the woods. Cool thing, I'm kind of going into this knowing absolutely nothing. We don't even know if this whole fertility thing's gonna work. He screwed in these little jobbies where he can't even open the drawer. She did the upper cabinets. It'll be 30 before he can reach, I'm assuming, you know, we have a kid. She's not even pregnant yet? She's not even gonna have a, a, a kid yet. Guys, Stockholm went south. Japan and us. Well, it's not the first time it's come down to that. Guys, if we fail, then- Please, we haven't had a glitch since 98. What, are, what is happening? What is this company? I can't tell. There's lab coats, but there's also like this big facility with golf carts. In 98, it was the chem department's fault. Where do you work again? Damn, these guys are a little bit in a schmood, I guess. Are you even listening to me? Oh my god, I'm dying. That freaking scared me. A jump scare title card. I'm so bad. Is this OK Go? I love this band so much. Very fabulous, no? I can't believe you did it, but very fabulous, right? It looks good. It looks really good. Well, Kurt's gonna thank me, and so will you. Who's I'm Kurt? Burning. Oh, I'd be so mad if someone tore out something from my art book. I would freaking slap her across the face. No one ripped something out of my art book without my permission. Oh my gosh. We definitely won't have room for. Oh, what if I get bored? Uh. So we need economic structures or learning. Too fast. Too fast than that. <laughs> No way he caught that! You're telling me he was right there? Oh my god, what's his name again? Jess? Jesse? With the eyes? He's got the nice eyes. He covers his whole book and his lectures. I, I swear, no regular person is ever gonna be like, I'm bored, let's bring my, my economics book. It's like one of her textbooks. It's like one of her school books. You know what I mean? Marty. Hi, Marty. People in this town drive in a very counterintuitive manner. Uh, do you want to spend the weekend in jail? The cops will never pull over a man with a huge bong in his car. Ancient logic. His window is still open. A giant bong in your father's van? That contraption's low-key fire, though. What the heck? Also, you're probably dying first. It's always the druggie that dies first. Everybody ready? 
why is Chris Hemsworth so freaking darn cute though? Holy crap. He he looks young, don't get me wrong, but he looks freaking exactly the same at the same time, you know? He might not be as like brolic, you know, like huge, but he's still freaking damn good looking. Nest is empty. We're right on time. What? Are those burglars? Get off the grid, right? No cell phone reception. You guys were worried about him bringing his contraption bong. If you get pulled over, I think you got other things to worry about, kids. <laughs> He's got so much oregano on the table. Oh my gosh. Did they tell you that being prepped is not the same thing as being prepared? They told me. I'll hold my post, Mr. Hadley. Good man. I'm confused. What is this company thing? It's clearly abandoned. Clearly, you're not getting any gas here. I don't think there's gonna be any gas. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Sign says closed. It also looks like a wreck in there. We also wanted to get directions. Tillerman Road. Do you know if it's this way? Oh! Don't spin in front of me! Probably the scariest thing I've seen this entire month. I've seen plenty come and go. Ah, come and go? Which war? You know damn well which war. He's so unfriendly, I don't like it. Getting back. That's your concern. Ew! Stop spitting! Turn your head away! Go to the side! Separate yourself from the per the group and then spit, please! Well, this guy looks like he needs a little bit of a cleanup. Wow, this is a pretty area though. The mountains are pretty. It'd be freaking terrifying driving that huge ass RV. Oh, hi, CGI bird. <gasps> Holy crap, what? Was that like a force field? Stop, hunger. Is this catching fire? Hello? This must be it. Uh, that's a freaking tiny little cabin. What are you guys gonna do there that's gonna be so much more fun than what you guys could have done at home? Tiny. Beautiful. It's freaking gross. It's not even a cute cabin. I've seen Minecraft cabins that are cuter than this. It looks like if you open the door, it, it'll literally break on you. Disintegrate. I swear it looks tiny from the outside and there's actually a lot of... I guess it's like a long cabin. This is awesome. This is awesome. <laughs> Yo, creepy. Red flag. Humans sacrificing animals as your choice in art in a cabin? Heck no. Whoa. Oh! No way. It's a, it's a mirror, but one way? Stop. Put the freaking painting back up. It's not hard. Hold up. That's just creepy. Where did your cousin buy this place from? We should check the rest of the rooms. Man. It's your cousin's place? How about we switch? I mean, I put the picture back, but you might feel better if we switched rooms. That's kind. For, uh, being decent. This curtain jewel sold you to me for marriage. They're not subtle. <laughs> <laughs> They're not subtle, and also you're not subtle. <laughs> but you're not a creep. Let's not jump to any conclusions. I had kind of an internal debate about showing you the mirror. That's not cute. Don't say that you had an internal battle. That is creep mode. She said, at least I know you're not a creep. And he's like, don't be so sure. <laughs> like, that's not helping you, dog. Especially if you like her. Stop. He knows. He's doing this on purpose. Oh, there's cameras. Oh my gosh, that's a good transition. A good little foreshadowing moment. That's a good little transition moment because they're talking about how like, oh my God, we don't want to be watched. The importance of privacy. Right afterwards, they show that their privacy is actually being invaded no matter what. No matter blankets being covered, pictures covering other mirror, one-way mirrors or whatever, it doesn't matter. Your privacy is being invaded and this is a cool way uh, that they showed it. I like it, I like it. What is this company? I can't wait to know more. This is actually a really great start to the movie. Lambs have passed through the gate. They are come to the killing floor. Oh, they know him? The spitting guy? Their blind eyes see nothing of the horrors to come. Okay, we get it. Stop. Why are you gonna be so creepy? Cleanse them. Okay, Cleanse whatever the you say. Am I on speakerphone? <laughs> hey, 
Betting on people's lives? How can you wager on this when you control the outcome? You just get them in the cellar. They take it from there. They don't transgress. They can't be punished. What? Interesting. Wait, that's crazy. So they can survive whatever is happening. And as long as they don't do a certain thing or whatever, then they won't be harmed or something, I guess? But I'm also still very confused, but that's the joy of it. That's what I'm enjoying. I, I don't know everything yet, and I'm learning great start to the film. I dare you to make out with whatever that mysterious beast is. That's, that's clearly a wolf. He had too much oregano. No problem. Why is that a dare? Okay. She's making it a, a whole thing. Why is she making it a spectacle? And she's doing it into the camera. Pretty great. Oh, uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable. No. What a way. What an interesting way to make me feel uncomfortable. Okay, Jules. There. Oh, oh my gosh. Why don't we find out? No, that's what they want you to do. Those shoes look darn uncomfortable, I will say. Heck no. With all this creepy stuff... Lying around? You couldn't pay me enough. This is where serial killers, like, bury dead bodies. Oh my god, I have the chills. <gasps> oh my god. I'm not sure it's awesome to be down here. True, go back up. Oh my god, it's just about to go down. I already know it's about to go down. Literally, who's his cousin? <laughs> Scary music? What I is that? you all to go upstairs. Agreed, agreed. I like what Marty's thinking. Oh, they're definitely gonna touch something and it's gonna start the whole quote unquote game and I hate it. Scary, oh, good camera shot of him in the mirror. Do not read the Latin. Don't. What? Did Marty only hear the freaking read it out loud thing? Did no one else hear that? Dana. You are super vivo. And it started. Igneo Animos. Yeah, it started. It started. Ew! Are those zombies? Stop it, zombies with weapons, mind you. It's already bad enough that they're zombies. That they also are spawning with saws and axes and knives. Congratulations go to maintenance who share the pot with Ronald the intern. Good job, Ronald. Oh man, I'm sorry. He had the conch in his I hands. Know, you know. I am never going to see a merman. <laughs> Yo, this is so interesting. Jules, do you want to go lie down? That's exactly the point. Hush. Stop pushing me around. Bro, those two are dying. Going outside where all the zombies are, they're going to die. Marty's on to something. He may be a stoner, but he is aware. Why is Jules suddenly a celebutard? When does Kurt pull this alpha male bullshit? I've seen Kurt drunk. Jules, too. Marty is on to something. Puppeteers? Pop-tarts? They have pop-tarts? <laughs> or he's just really in space right now. Bro, this is not safe. You guys are gonna die. No. Oh my god, this is so creepy. This is actually so creepy. I'm Tilly. <laughs> Basic human needs disgust me. Get out of here. <laughs> hysterical i hate that i'm laughing about it engaging pheromone mists pheromone mists what is that supposed to make them like more it's romantic is it romantic they're making mood lighting does it really matter if we see we're not the only ones watching Ken. the customer satisfied customer who what stop i'm scared i'm scared i'm scared Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god! Oh, okay! Mjolnir! Call Mjolnir! Don't- you, Bro, you can't pull out a stab wound! You should have left it in there! 
Oh, you're gonna be bleeding out now. What is that? Oh my god, 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 oh my god. That is terrifying. Oh my gosh. Oh, and they're just sitting here watching this. What the freak? What the freak? What is that? What? <laughs> what? Is this like a weird cult group thing who need to sacrifice blood for some reason? I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm a puppet, huh? A fucking puppet dance. <laughs> Marty's actor. Love. I thought there'd be stars. Is he noticing? <gasps> oh! <laughs> Yo, the camera work is so good. Yo, this is oh so well coordinated. Him looking back and the person going back into the shadows, like that was perfect. Hold on, hold on. Is all of this from you? Where's Jules? She's dead. Jules is dead. Being here without Jules. That dead girl is out there. <gasps> Stop! And they have Jules's head. No! No! Why'd you catch it? Oh my gosh! Oh, the tilted camera. The slanted camera is great. The camera, did you see it? It shifted. Play it safe. No matter what happens, we have to stay together. Uh oh. This isn't right. We should split up. Tell me what chemical. Oh no. Get out of the window. Marty! Marty! <laughs> Stupid idiot! Stupid dummy! Marty, you were onto something! Oh! <laughs> Music change? <laughs> Wait. Or I don't know music, chord progression. I don't know. They change it to like hero notes right when the bong comes out. Wax them and then it turns back into scary music. That is the wonderful thing about music. I love how music can do that. Listen to that one more time. Scary music. Hero music. Back to the scary music. Oh God, poor Marty. Who are they trying to please? Upstairs or downstairs. downstairs, I mean, sorry. A demon or a devil or something? All right, everyone needs to stay away from freaking windows, okay? Kurt. <gasps> I mean, there's gotta be something. <gasps> no way. How is one arm strong enough to freaking bear trap someone's back and then freaking reel him up? Yeah, pick your weapon! Oh! Girl, you got an arm! The music in this film is so good. It's actually so good. Who did the music in this film? I'm looking it up right now. David Julian? David Julian. You did a great freaking job with the music. I freaking love it. Guys, listen to this. It's intense. It's great. I freaking love the music. Humanity's last hope. If the ancients rise, we- Humanity's last hope. So if these kids don't die, like if there's no blood, the ancients rise. I'm assuming it's like another dark demon. Something is going to spawn. I guess something is unleashed. Something even worse. And that's why they're trying to kill these kids, maybe. It's some fast and furious in here. I am not confident in my backwards driving. Like, something about driving in reverse just confuses the heck out of me. Kurt, are you sure about this? I've done bigger jumps than this. You're gonna blow up, Kurt! There's a force field! It's catching fire! I'll get help. Catching fire style! Don't hold back. We wouldn't know that this was happening unless we saw the bird thing happen. I can't. I can't even watch. <laughs> Bro! What a freaking way to go. Bro, that is traumatic. Marty was right. Oh, she's piecing it together. We love a girl who's freaking reading economics. He do be dying from a force field like catching fire. They even use the hexagons and everything. Hexagons are the best of guns. If anyone knows that reference, you guys are my new best friends. Okay, no matter what happens, you gotta stay calm. <gasps> no freaking way! Damn, this movie's so freaking good with jump scares. The three of them were in there and they didn't see him just chilling. Was he hiding? Transition though. The virgin's death is optional as long as it's last. I'm actually rooting for this girl. Well, the, the 
pain and the hunt. Tequila is my lady! Bro, him trying to be all heartfelt and then tequila comes in. The RV legit. <laughs> They're just everywhere. Is she gonna die? Stop, I don't want Dana to die. Right. And the water rushing in and the sun. Oh, I just think it would have been cooler with a merman. Oh my god, he's still not over the freaking merman thing. What? 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 Oh my god. Turn that... the fucking music off. That red phone is scaring me. Which one? Is Marty alive? If Marty's alive, that's gonna be the coolest freaking thing ever. I swear to god, if he like saves the day with his bong, maybe. <laughs> yes! And why didn't they keep track of Marty? They just assumed he was dead? Oh, he figured it out? How to dismember that guy with the trowel. <laughs> yes, Marty, yes. What have you been up to? We're getting beat up by a bear trap. I can get it to go down. Do we want to go down? I don't know. Where are we gonna go? If they go down, aren't you gonna like die either way from the people who ran this place? <gasps> oh, terrifying, 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 terrifying. Okay, what happens if you guys are just stuck there and end of movie? Dying of starvation and thirst and then roll credits like what? <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god! Holy sh- that got me, that actually got me. Oh, are we gonna see the merman? Please tell me we see the merman. No, 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 no. They made us choose how we die. Calm, calm down, girl. Oh my gosh. He outlives her. This whole thing goes to hell. Whatever he's been smoking has been immunizing him to all our shit. Oh, the, the oregano saved his freaking brain. <laughs> Out. Just a girl. <gasps> yeah. Good work, zombie arm. Good job, zombie arm. Who would have thought? I thought this was just gonna be like a crazy story in a cabin in the woods. But no, this is so much bigger. <laughs> System purge? What does that mean? They let them all out? You're kidding me. Girl, don't hit that button. That's kind of amazing, but also kind of insane. Let's get this party started. Full circle. Full circle with the script, we love it! In the cabin, at headquarters, and now back at headquarters, sort of, but all the way down. <laughs> Ooh, oh my gosh, that's great! Oh my gosh, oh no! <gasps> no! Girl, you just unleashed hell. It went, it, they're starting to go upstairs too? Y'all are donezo. Marty, Dana, y'all weren't thinking. There's no way they're gonna get out. Ew, 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 what the? Ew, ew, what is squishing around like this? Is it the merman? Ew! Oh, come on. He's gonna die from the merman, I'm dead! No! Go, go, stop looking, just go! This is crazy. Oh. What? Kill him. Kill who? Kill who? Yo, what a moment. Them crossing by each other. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that. For Dana to be the one to kill him. Oh, did he tell Dana to kill Marty? He's telling Dana to kill Marty, right? Dana's definitely gonna figure it out. This is part of a ritual. A ritual sacrifice. Marty, you're so dead. Who are you? Oh my god! Oh my god, what's her name again? She's a fantabulous actress. The fool. He's supposed to be the fool? I think Marty is the smartest. Marty's my favorite. What if you don't pull it off? They rise. Who does? Freaking monster things going bleh, 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 bleh. As long as they accept our sacrifice, they remain below. The world will end. Dana's gonna kill him. Literally, it's just Marty has to die. Oh, Dana's gonna kill him! No! Oh, shoot! Oh, shoot! No, I really liked Marty. Oh my gosh! Oh, she, if she dies first, that's not good, right? Oh, this actress's role was short-lived. Oh my gosh! This zombie girl got an arm. Literally one arm. But... Also, an arm. 
Oh, does she count as the fool? Does she count? Does she count as being the sacrifice instead of Marty? Oh no, Dana, are you okay, girlfriend? You all right? I don't think Cardi even has a cousin. <laughs> oh, anyway, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I almost shot you. Oh, thank, thank, thank goodness. Hey. These actors are so good. These actors are so good. Oh my god, he's gonna smoke. This is great. It's time to give someone else a chance. Bro, this is so great. These actors kind of killed this last scene here, this last conversation. Giant evil gods. What a way to go. I wish I could have seen it. That would have been a fun weekend. Love this dialogue. Bro, this movie. I swear. Gosh. No way! <laughs> oh my god, this movie is so good. Oh my god. I was not expecting that film to be that good. I knew it was gonna be good. I said it in my intro, like, I think this is a good film. I was not expecting it to be that good. Hold on. I kind of wish I saw this in theaters. Even things that like I didn't think was gonna be uh, the best part of this film, which was the cinematography, the music. It was good. It was actually pretty freaking darn good. But with these camera angles, what they choose to hold and what they choose not to hold, I didn't expect it. And so it made it that much more enjoyable. Sure, there's no crazy shots, right? But even like the transitions and the, the different angles and having jump scares that I don't expect. Oh my god, I don't even have words. I can't even talk properly because of, of how much I liked it. It's cool because even though they did warn us about some things and some things I did expect, it still didn't make it less fun. And uh, the way that they wrote the script as well, things coming full circle. A lot of the times when things are repeated in a film, like a line, like let's get this party started, it can come off as cheesy, it can come off as like, uh, it didn't hit right, but it definitely did a really great job here. It was such a satisfying finish because the kids didn't let themselves be the offerings. They were like, screw you world. I wonder if there were alternate endings that were shot. I'm really glad they chose this ending because most of the times in these films, we see like loopholes or we see, and in, in my case, I would have guessed that the lady, I forgot the actress's name, the one who ju just came out and she got the ax to the head. I would have thought that she would have counted as a fool, but she didn't, which is great. Incredible. So good. What a freaking great film. Can't believe I didn't see it earlier. I will say, I think I was like 12 or something when this movie came out. 10 out of 10. Thoroughly enjoyed myself. What a way to end Spooktober. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this movie commentary, make sure to leave it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet already so you can stay tuned to all my content and don't forget to check out my last video. Also, thank you guys so much for supporting all of my spoopy little TV shows and movies that I've been doing on this channel. Thank you so much for the growth that we've had this month. Don't forget to check out and stick around and stay tuned for the subathon this Saturday. Please be there. It'll be so much fun. I also want to meet a lot of you guys. Just think about it. Just think about it. It'll be a good time. You know, come if you want to. If you want to come, that's, that's totally cool. But like, I would, it would be really fun if you can come. Uh, so if you come on Saturday, see you there. If not, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, bye, okay, bye, okay, bye.